Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I'm just, I almost forgot when I got started here. I got to go see what the, uh, the great Curtis Davis sent for picks. We're doing NHL picks again today. Giving it to you. I know this is kind of going out to you a little late, but we got to make sure that we got all our ducks in a row. You know that? You know what that meant? People have like lots of ducks that were scattered everywhere in their life. He's got to be in a row. I think it's because like the adult ducks, they they make, you know how they all go in a row like that? And that's the way, I think that's what it, anyways. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I uh, let's see what do we got the 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 Curtis Davis uh, sent tomorrow's early leans was Edmonton over Florida Edmonton and over okay this is Curtis I'm not necessarily agreeing with Curtis he's just a very good capper so I'm going to send him to you Florida over Detroit. Uh, over on the Philadelphia Flyers game. Under the Dallas game and under the Lakers game. Uh, Calgary under, Vegas and under, San Jose under and under, Dallas and under, T-Bay under maybe. I don't know what that means. That's what his are. So write that down and then you'll listen to mine, and then you can combine the two, because he's a really good capper. And if we agree, that might be one you might want, want to play. So, Curtis, we'll be doing videos together again. I think the way things are, we're just not able to do them right now, but that's okay. That's okay. He's got a job. He wakes up early in the morn, and uh, it doesn't work for me as well in the evening. So, now let's get into some housekeeping a bit. Some cool stuff. Don't leave. You're going to want to see hear about this. And if, by the way, hit the subscribe and the bell, and I'll send you a Mine HL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Hernandez and, Mel Hernanda, Hernandez and Melissa will jump in the Pearlocopter. They're off on their way already. They get up early in the morning, and they're out to all the areas of the land sending the Pearls of Wisdom necklace that Helen all knitted up for you. And all that. So, to yesterday, I uh, I went four for three on my singles, but Perlo Dads, Perlo Dads, hit myself a parlay for all the clients over there. So we were up about six units, something like that. Not too bad. Um, large plays kind of screwed things up a bit. I missed some large plays, and I made myself a mistake. I had. Uh, Let's look at it real quick. Why not? Why not? Let's look at it yesterday's picks. Uh, oh, they don't have them here anymore. How do you switch the date on this? Ah. I guess you can't. Uh, let's see. Scores. Let's go here. Reload. Yesterday. I didn't have a bet on that. I had the Blue Jackets ML when I found out that uh, that Trocheck was out for the Hurricanes. I leaned the Blue Jackets. Uh, Oilers, I had the Oilers, but I had I had them in a parlay. That was part of the parlay. I had the over, and I was just going to say I made a mistake on this. Teams are getting tired. You're probably going to see me lean to the under a lot more now. I had Tampa Bay. I had Toronto and Reg. I had uh, Lightning and the over. They just about got it, but they didn't. 4-1. Uh, I had Lightning and Regulation and the over, so I missed on that, but I got the over. And uh, Coyotes and Blues, I faded. Now, we had a guy. We had a guy. His name is Kent T. He had a parlay down there in the bottom, and he missed it because of this one. But I tell you, you know what I'm going to do now? I said I'm going to give you guys, I've been saying, I've been saying, I'm going to give you guys a free month if uh, if you win the parlay challenge. And I'm still going to do that. So put your parlays down there. Nobody's hit one yet, so nobody's winning. Put your parlays down there. 
And when you win, you will get a free month next month. However, if you comment down there this month, I'll give you this month for free starting now. So you'll get three quarters of a month for free. Premium, the premium plays, all the parlays, everything for free. And all you got to do is comment down in the bottom. I would, what you do is you comment something, a password for yourself. So when you join Patreon, because you're going to have to join first, you're going to have to use your credit card or whatever, join. And I will put it, give it back to you right away. I'll refund it immediately. But you have to message in. It'll show you there how you message. You message me in the messages your password that you put in the comment section. I will know it's you. I will refund you right away. There you go. Because I just want people to enjoy the fine programming over there. And it's fun. The more people we have, it's fun. You get lots of free stuff. We have a parlay challenge over there. Really, it's all about fun. But I don't personally make money off of picks because I, for some reason, when I put any money on picks, they just go all to crap. So I, I, I don't know. It changes the way I look at the games or something. So I don't. So making a little money for my effort and offering you is great. If you, if you have it in your heart to do so, just go over there and have some fun. Okay. That's because that's what it's all about, right? Now we see these are the games for tomorrow. By the way, Chanel as well. Chanel. Chanel is already a Patreon member and she's posting her parlays down there. Chanel L. Chanel L. -L, -L, -L. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Philadelphia, Washington. What do we got for Philadelphia, Washington? We have the Flyers versus the Capitals. I'm leaning the Philadelphia Flyers ML here. The Washington Capitals are just still, they got no Oshi, no Verana. Uh, they do have Orloff back, no Samson up. I, I, the Vanacek kid, he's looking good. But playing this type of competition over and over and over again for a kid like that, who they, Washington themselves, didn't really feel was ready or they wouldn't have tried to sign Lundqvist to begin with, right? So they brought in Lundqvist for that. I think he's going to be a good kid. He's just played a lot. And Washington's played a lot. Now, you might say, you might say, you might say that, well, Washington had worse injuries before, and that would be a very good point. Except what happens when you're playing uh when you're playing it with injuries, usually the guys you put in there at first do pretty well. Uh, when it comes to the NHL, it's how are you going to play over time? Because it really does wear and tear, uh, put some wear and tear on the body. I'm going to go to the depth chart here to see some of the names. They have had Daniel Carr playing a lot on the top, your top six. Connor Sheary's playing a lot more minutes. I mean, he's a tough kid, don't get me wrong, but he's not built for playing huge minutes in the NHL. He looks like it's starting to wear down. Nick Dowd is playing way higher in the lineup. And that Daniel Sprong and Richard Panic looks like he's peaking already too. So they got Kuznetsov here. Is he going to be in tonight? Oh, that would be interesting. That could change things. That's why you go over to Patreon too, because I'll post things later in the day and say, hey, change this pick, because like I did last night, found out Trocek was out for Carolina. I went, no, I'm going Columbus now, because Columbus's weakness is kind of up the middle and if Trocek is out, that negates that weakness. And I really like Columbus at home better there. See, that's the sort of thing that will happen and the sort of service you will get and find programming over there at Patreon in uh, at Pearl of Wisdom, which I will put in the bio. So you got, and Vanacek, like I said, is getting tired. So I'm leaning Philadelphia here. Um, where am I? Here we go. Leaning Philadelphia and... Because of the fatigue of the goaltending, 
They're, Philadelphia's putting Elliott back in again, which is interesting in, in itself. He's just, A.V. likes to, if he sees a goaltender's on a roll, he'll roll with them. And Elliott is on a roll right now. So they're going to put him in. I, I'm going to lean the over six here. Over six. Not as big of a lean as the, the, as the, the line, but I'm leaning over. So if you're leaning it over big and it helps you out that I'm leaning over, maybe that gives you a little more sad, uh, it gives you a little more confidence to make that pick. I don't know. Could be. Uh, let's see. Our, and uh, Curtis, I think, took Philly there, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Curtis leans uh, Detroit here, and I understand that. Problem is, Bobrovsky is in. And I just have no faith in that guy right now. I just have no faith in that guy right now. Florida should outwork Detroit like they should have last time. Uh, Detroit is also playing better this this year. Still inconsistent, but playing better. I personally think that if I'm going to play this, I'm probably going to go the spread and take... Plus one and a half at 174. That's good value. The odds the odds are pretty good that this is going to be a one goal game. Um, Bobrovsky again is. I don't see how he's much better than last year, and I think Detroit again. Another thing is we don't know goaltenders yet, so that's another reason why you go over to Patreon because if the goaltenders change and I I keep my eye on it all day. I post it there. So if you're working or doing all that kind of stuff and you can't do that, right? I get to do that for you. I'll tell you some of the moves that they're happening that they'll change and stuff like that. Right now, I like Detroit PL. For 174, that's pretty darn good value. And because Bobrovsky's in that, um, they all, I kind of lean the over here, but I'm not sure because on the opposite of end of things, if, if Bryce is in, it's going to be really hard for them to score. So actually, I'll turn it around. I think I'm going to go the under here. Look at that. Just like that. I'm going to go under five and a half. Edmonton versus Ottawa. Now, Ottawa could not score against Smith, who was cold last night. Uh, coming in cold, pretty much. And has not put up good numbers for quite a while. Uh, kind of, you know, played Edmonton pretty well. But with Koskinen going to be in... And probably Hogberg going to be in for Ottawa, which isn't bad. Hogberg's not a bad goaltender. I'm going to go with Edmonton, but I'm only going to go Edmonton ML because I'm just not comfortable with that team. It's too inconsistent. I think it's a pretty high percentage that it'll, they'll win ML. And Edmonton can always run up the score. So it's very possible this could be over five and a half. Oh, six and a half. Nah, under six and a half. I'm looking under six and a half. Fairly confident in that. If Ottawa couldn't co score against Smith last night, I'm not going to give him much of a chance to score much against Koskinen tonight. So um, Edmonton probably could, even could run up the score a bit, and it would still be under six and a half. So I'm going under six and a half. Uh, Chicago versus Dallas. This this Chicago team is really playing tough hockey. They are not giving up on anything, and if you, they will out, they will outwork you. Um, Kulaton, and I mentioned it before the season started, and I've mentioned it a few times. Kulaton is a freaking amazing coach. Chicago is really beat up though; like they are. Uh, Roto World, it's the best there. I said it. Um, Radulov is out too for. For Dallas, Sekera, Sagan is still out. Where Chicago, they got Boquist out too. Yeah, this is a tough game. I'm almost leaning. Again, I think I go on the PL here. Uh, let's go. What's Chicago getting on the spread? 159. I mean, not great juice. But I think for I think it's the best value. I, I like that value over the money line for a couple points extra for Dallas money line. I prefer Chicago on the PL. You might want to parlay that. 
or you can just take the juice. I think it's a pretty good percentage that Chicago is going to at least keep it to one goal, especially since Lankinen should be in net. Although Subban, what the heck's going on with him? He's been playing really well. So I think it's a pretty good chance. I think it's a pretty good chance Dallas wins this game, but I don't think it's, I think it's a better chance that Chicago at least keeps it to one goal. So for an out, so for a couple extra points, maybe go with that. Tampa versus Nashville. I had the over on this game last night. Curtis, uh, what did Curtis have for that Chicago game? I think he had, I should keep that up. See Florida over Philadelphia game. He said, oh yeah, he had over Philadelphia game as well. Under Dallas game. Oh yeah, I didn't give you a total for the under on that. Yeah, I'll probably lean under there as well with those two goaltenders. And that's probably a pretty good play. Uh, he didn't have anything on the line. So, uh, not Tampa Bay, Nashville. I'm going to, I got to take Tampa Bay ML still. I, Nashville's just a, just cannot get things going. They do for spurts, but not enough. Vasilevsky should be in, will be in for Tampa Bay. Um, I got to lean the under here as well. I had the over yesterday because Nashville had Rene in, but they did manage to keep it to an under. Uh, with Now, logically speaking, with Vasilevsky and Saros in, the two better goaltenders, if they couldn't score yesterday, why would they score more today? You really got to go with the under, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to go the under there. Uh, Winnipeg versus Calgary. Um, tough call. Uh, this has been a coin flip all every time. Winnipeg has really got, has got the upper hand here uh, on, in every game. I think every game so far. But I think I'm going to lean Calgary this time at home. They're coming off a big win off of Edmonton. They should be on a bit of a high. Maybe got some motivation going. I'm going to lean... I'm going to lean Calgary at 190. Uh, if I'm feeling 50-50, you might as well go with the home team or the juice, right? So there's no juice, so I'll go on, I'll go for the home team. Uh, total six. With Mark, that should be under, but they play over a lot. They play over a lot. So I'm on the fence. I'm going to say under. It should be under because it's Hullabuck and Markstrom. Um, it should be a grinding out team game. So, yeah, I'll lean the under. Los Angeles and San Jose Sharks. What did he put? Did he put under or over on this? He put the under on this. I don't know about that. Um, Los Angeles has hurt quite a bit. That's probably based on a trend, uh, which makes sense. I'm, I'm on the fence. Because it's Curtis, I'll go the under here. But I do, he has San Jose to win, and I kind of agree with that. Los Angeles is very injured. The problem is, is they're very hardworking, and they could outwork San Jose. Uh, Jones is in net. The Quick had a horrible outing in his last game. I, I'll lean San Jose. Anaheim versus Vegas. Um, I don't think... I think Laner's going to be in net. I don't know. I think Flurry's going to be in net. It doesn't matter who's in net. I just I don't think Anaheim's going to be able to score. I think Vegas wins this like 2 3 nothing. I like the under in Vegas uh, in regulation. So tomorrow, we're only going to have two games by the looks of it. Uh, so that'll be interesting. But tell me, give me your parlays. Like I said, all you got to do is comment down there. Just say something. And don't be afraid. You know what? There's been a really cool thing going on. People have been hitting the like button. I know. I know it's a little weird. Maybe you'll feel like a little uncomfortable. Get out of your comfort zone, though. You know? Break out of the comfort zone. Just try it. Just try it. You may just love it. Just may love doing it. I know it helps out the channel quite a bit. So if you like the channel, probably hit the like button.
sort of a cool thing people do. Anyways, you can give it a shot. Uh, that's my full 42%, boys and girls. And thank you, uh, Kent T and Chanel L for bringing your fine pearls down there and doing your parlays. I'd like to have more. I like to interact. Hey, let, let's get to know one another, right? Get a little closer. Have a great day, everybody. That's my full 42. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.